on the scale of one to hundred, how do you feel safe in China as a woman? When their eyes will be like down there instead of like in your face, but it's okay. Uh, our face just became so like you know <laughs> our anger and and he was just laughing. When they see you, they be like they cover their mouth and face. Uh. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm sure we can all relate to the fact that safety is one of the main factors that you consider when moving or visiting another country. And safety of women is something that we can't close our eyes to. Being a foreigner in China myself and being a person of color, I get a lot of reactions from Chinese and today we want to see it in a foreign woman's perspective, whether they feel safe or not. Guys, if you are ready, don't forget to hit the like button Subscribe if you are new. Let's get it rolling. Hello, your Hello. name and where you're from. Hello, I'm Evelyn from Panama. Evelyn from Panama. Your name and where you're from. My name is Evelyn from Panama. <laughs> <laughs> Evelyn from Panama. Yes. She just copied what I say. <laughs> she copied no. your... No, tell me. Tell me something. Is it real? Like your name is... Yeah, Evelyn from Panama. And you? Same. Evelyn from Panama. My name is Jane. I'm from Zimbabwe. Jane from Zimbabwe. My name is Hafsa, Hafsa Machano, and I am coming. F I'm coming from Tanzania. Okay, Tanzania. Yes. Which part of Tanzania is this? Zanzibar. It's beautiful Zanzibar. island. Oh. Yes. How many years have you been in China? About four years. Four years. Uh, until now, it's like three years. Three years. Yeah. Oh, okay. How about you? For me too, we came on 2019. 2019, okay. Yeah. So like three fairly years. three years, okay. It's like how many, how many? Five years now? Five years. Yeah. Okay. So I want to ask a very simple question. How is it like to be a foreign woman in China? How do Chinese rea react to you on a normal, like daily basis? How is it like? Uh, I think it's because I'm foreigner. Yes. They look at that you like, oh, foreigner, you know, <laughs> here the people, population is really big. So when they see a foreigner, it's like, wow, she's foreigner. Yeah. So I think that's the fair reaction, the first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. How about you? <laughs> For me, it's the same. They're the looking at you ladies. But um, I feel safe. Okay. But at the same time, I feel like alien. <laughs> like, it's like, from where is she? It's no yeah, saying or something <laughs> like this. But it's okay. I, now it's okay for me. Before it was like, what are you looking? I am oh. saying. But then it's like, okay, I understand. Okay. <laughs> for example, cool. for children, mm -hmm. you know, for children, it's like the first time for them sometimes yeah. to see a foreigner. Okay. So yeah, for them, it's like, wow. <laughs> Well, you get different reactions every time. Um, like for me, I've been in China for almost four years. I've been to many cities and the people are different there too, like in all the cities. Um, the people are different in many, like different cities? Yeah, they are different. Uh, like uh, there's this uh, incident that happened once when I was uh, in the southern part of China, a city called Kumi. Um, it's like, you know, when you're walking down the street and like people look at you weirdly, like you're like a snack or... It depends. Some girls, maybe or women, when you, when they see me, they'll be shocked. I'll be like, hey, it's black people. Okay. <laughs> it's strange, right? Well, is it most of the young ones or the Yeah, old? this lays queen, obviously this lays queen. I'll be like, hey, black people. Or other or other women, they like they surprised because they never they ne they never see the black, black people, people in their whole life. They will be like, oh oh, other girls they will like they want to take picture with you. Okay. They will be like, oh, it's black person. Yeah yeah yeah. It's like that. Is there a time where you felt really great, really good that no one is worrying you or something? And is there a time where you felt really worse, like maybe something happened on the streets, a Chinese trying to talk to you or something? Has there been a, any experience like that? Well, I remember when I come in the first years here okay. and I was so happy, like, oh, a new country. So I, we go to mall when I start to walk, like going inside to the mall when uncle Chu Chu, <laughs> he go to me and he start to talk in Chinese and I don't know, I don't understand nothing. So I was like, no, no, thank you. 
And then he start to tell something again, and I don't understand. And he come and I start to touch my back, like, like I was like, what? No, don't do that. And he was like, ah, laughing, and it's again, two times. I was so angry. I was like, no, I need to control it because it's not my country. I cannot do nothing. So okay. in that time, I was like, I don't know what I can do. And she also was with me. So I was oh. like, what's wrong? Wow. wow. Yeah, and what's the, face, the, the first time I, I feel like this? Wow. <laughs> you know what to say. So, yeah. like, he, he touched you in the back. Yeah, yeah. he touched me in the Not back. Not once, but twice. Yeah, two times. Wow. Yeah, and I say, no, no, no. And he just laughing because... I don't understand what he say. He don't understand what I say. Okay. <laughs> so it was so weird for me. Yeah, that's what's was really the first crazy. Time. Yeah, okay. because in something like this, you want to react like slap him yeah. because <laughs> come on, you are touching me and yeah. yeah. But in that moment, we don't know anything about Chinese, even English. He will not understand. So uh, our face just became so like you know <laughs> our anger and and he was just laughing. But it was an old man, so yeah. it was difficult to do something. <laughs> But has the, I'm sure there has been good times. Can you tell us your experience? Good time? Well, for me, it's like also when I go to ride bicycle, okay. I feel really safety and good. Okay. I can ride bicycle in morning or night. Oh. Like, will be okay. Okay, okay. You feel yeah. safe when you're riding, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, best, I can say also the same. Like, anytime I can go outside and I don't feel like unsafe here. But anywhere, anyway, I will feel like I have to be careful, careful with everything yeah. because everywhere you can uh, have bad experience, so okay. you have to be careful. And but here, never something bad happened to me. Okay. Um, okay, worse, I don't have any like really bad. Mm -hmm. Just like this, Chinese, when you see they are drinking on the way like this, they start to flirt and look at you with bad intention, you know. Okay. So they even want like come to you. Also, when they are driving cars, sometimes they are like yelling to you words, blah, 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 in Chinese. Uh, okay. So, yeah, just these bad things, I okay. can say. But okay. they think boys uh, in any country, maybe most of yeah. them do yeah. this kind of yeah, thing. I think so. Not I most think of them, so. but some of them, yeah. Some of them. Okay. <laughs> I've never gotten privileged because I was a foreign woman. Okay. Um, but I, don't, I can't say there's a day that I felt like scared or uncomfortable as well like based on a reaction you know because okay. chinese so. people are pretty shy so i don't think they'll uh, act it out okay. i think it's pretty much safe okay. like whatever they do they just like it may be action but it will never get physical i it think was. yeah i never had experience bad things while i'm here in china mm -hmm. but i don't like this one things i like seriously i don't like it like when you walk and when you, when they see you, I don't know if I mean all of them, not woman or or not all woman only. Like when they see you, they be like they cover their mouth and face with this oh, mask. I be like, oh. yeah, I be like, yeah, it's black person, black person like this. I be like, dude, ah, it's really piss me off. I okay. don't, I don't like it at all. I want to know when is the um, latest time that you've stayed outside in china <laughs> the latest time late so, um, it's early in the morning, <laughs> yeah in the morning like you go out like kind of 7 8 p.m 9 p.m until the next day because oh. you know you cannot back like what about you <laughs> yeah i have the experience too i maybe a few times i came early back to my school and you know morning is fine because people are going to work and after 5 a.m like, yeah and we are just coming back like this okay. but even if i have to back at 3 a.m yeah, it's fine yeah okay. uh, pretty late maybe uh 5 a.m 5 a.m meaning like you stayed up in the night so 5 a.m right yeah a lot of people go out in the night right have you um yeah heard stories i'm of not oh a lot of people Oh, <laughs> you were outside, but probably maybe you were working on the, you were maybe indoors, maybe in the club or something. Whilst you were getting home, um, in the late nights, did you, did you feel safe when you walk in the nights in China, 12 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m., do you feel safe or you feel scared that something might happen or something? How do you feel? Well, for me, uh, when I come to China, I start to change all my mind. So okay. I feel like more safety. More safety. Yeah, okay. like you can walk 
anytime. Okay. And you will be safe. You will be safe. Yeah. Okay. Good. What about you? Yeah, I think anytime here, you know, in my country, if I, I want to walk at 3 a.m., alone is impossible. So it's something like I will never do there. But okay. here, I no, I never tried alone. Mm -hmm. But uh, usually, usually I'm going out with my friends. Uh, so anytime we don't see anything bad, like uh, on the street, on the way, nothing. Okay. Okay, there is this one day I walked out, but I was with my friend. Okay. We are coming from the... Um, I think we went at KFC at night, okay. not here in Nanjing, the other city, okay. and we saw this drunk man, mm -hmm. yeah, he was really, really drunk, and he was like, he wanted to attack us, okay. and then we were like, ah, what happened, and then we just ran, and then it just went like that, From okay. so from that day till now, I don't really, really go out, I feel like it's not safe to go out. Okay. Mm, it's nice. Night. Yeah. Uh, you just like have to avoid like where people are fighting because sometimes people do fight and it gets tricky because you might get end up getting involved. Okay. Yeah, but that's the only thing. Otherwise, it's safe, pretty much safe. Other people also get reactions where Chinese maybe touch their hair or try to touch their skin. Have you gotten such a reaction? Yeah, that happens a lot. I mean, it's becoming normal. <laughs> oh, it's becoming normal, right? The hundred percent times that you spend in China, how how often do Chinese react to you? Maybe on the streets to come and try to talk to you or try to see oh is she a foreigner or try to do something that makes you uncomfortable? Mm. Is it very hard to see that? Sometimes it's like you can see on sometimes it depends. Yes, it depends. Yeah, okay. I think also depends of the of the place. the place. For example, close to our school there is a street food. And you know, usually they have a seat and table outside. Mm -hmm. So sometimes even they're drinking. Mm -hmm. um, maybe sometimes they're on the, uh, out of control and they start to flirt to girls like this. In this kind of situation, yes, I saw Chinese uh, when they are talking to foreigners. Oh, yeah. okay. For me, for myself, I don't feel safe to walk around the street alone. Okay. I prefer to walk with someone. Okay. Yes, maybe my friends. Yeah, it's like that because. I don't trust. I don't trust Chinese. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, um, you don't trust them in which way? That maybe something bad might happen? Of or... course, yes. Oh. On the scale of 1 to 100, how do you feel safe in China as a woman? Okay, let's say 75%. 75%. Yeah, but they have to say something. You know, we never go anywhere just here in Nanjing, yeah. in our city. Yeah, we... So we just have experience here in yeah. Nanjing. Yeah, and Nanjing is really safe. Okay. Yeah. Really safe. How about you? Yeah, eighteen <laughs> percent. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, this thing, like she said, like we are in Nanjing and we just know, we don't know, we don't know another yeah. place. Other and this place is good. It's safety. What okay. another? I don't know. Uh, ninety percent. Ninety percent. Thirty. Thirty. Oh. Yes. So um, I want to know, what if someone wants to come to China, a woman? A foreign woman wants to come to China and she's thinking of safety. What do you have to tell the person? Do you, would you tell the person to come and not feel afraid? Or what, what do you want to say to such people who would want to come to China? Um, I think if you want to come to China and you're a woman, you can come to China. It's safe, but be prepared because you get strange stares. People stare a lot. Like you might be talking to someone, their eyes will be like down there instead of like on your face. But it's okay. You, you'll be pretty much safe. Okay, my advice: come to Nanjing <laughs> yeah. because here is safe. Uh, so I think here in China, most of the places are, are safe. safe. But anyway, everybody should care or their their self. Yeah. So it's very important too. Okay. Well, what about you? For me, it's like all the time you need to have, be careful. Like, it doesn't matter if the place is safe or not. You don't know what will happen. Okay. So it's better be safety. Okay. So and be careful anywhere you go, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. For me, first of all, they sh they are welcome here in China, yeah. but for some reason, they have to be careful. You have to be careful. Yes, yeah, especially a woman to walk. At night in the street, it's not really safe. It's not really that bad, but they have to be careful. To be careful. Anything can happen. You never know. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Hola. Hola. How do you say um, how are you in Spanish? Como estas? Como estas? 
Muy bien. Muy bien. Uh, muy bien means I'm fine. I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine. Okay. Um, how do you say, how do you feel? In... ¿Cómo te sientes? ¿Cómo te sientes? Wow, man. I think I need to have some Spanish classes after this video. What do you guys yeah, think? So Boom. Do you, do you speak Chinese? No, it's Chihuahua. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, how the, how the. Do you speak Chinese? No. You don't speak Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> I just know that's name Ting Budong. That's all. That's no, but right. I'm studying now. I really want to know Chinese. It's okay. embarrassing because I'm staying here. How many, how many years? Like five years, and okay. I don't know Chinese. Okay. Woo. Gracias por ver el video. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Pueden seguirlo Ooh. en su canal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So subscribe to this channel. All right, guys. So that's the end of this video. Please do all to like this video, subscribe if you are new, comment, share this video. And if you want to see more videos like this where I interview foreigners too, please comment below. See you in the next video.